So we have here the Paro robot today. This is uh, this is um, this is Kevin, our Paro robot. We have I think three at the university: um, one at Sheffield Robotics, uh, another at Catch. I don't know where the third is. But uh, it's what's known as a therapeutic robot. It's a, um, a robot substituting for animal-assisted therapy. So this robot was built with the idea um, that it goes into. Uh, like care homes, old folks' homes and so on, for individuals that might be a bit lonely, um, they not, might not have much activities available to do. And you just sit with it. Like, like a pet, like an animal-assisted type therapy, they have sessions where you have uh, bring cats and dogs in and old people sit and they enjoy stroking and playing with them. You have this sort of uh, cute little harp seal here. So Paro's modelled after the, uh, the baby harp seal, something that they've... Um, the company that built it have decided it's one of the cutest and most vulnerable, uh, needy little creatures. It's got sort of lovely Disney anime style eyes as well. Um, just so that when you look at it, you think, oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> and we find, um, if we do bring these to people, that as I've, I've wound up right here, they very quickly want to stroke it, give it hugs, just kind of let It's got its little squeaks and its little voices. And it's very gentle, it's very quiet, it's very sedate, doesn't do very much. But that's ideal, that you don't want an animal that's perhaps too overexcited, you don't want a robot that's too um, flashy uh, for a situation where you are looking for people to be relaxed, be calm, and just enjoy a bit of the company. So Paro works, there's got a variety of sensors in it. Um, it has sensors in the whiskers here, that if you touch them they'll move around. It has little squeaks in its um, flippers and it has sensors around the back. If we leave it be for a while, it will just gently fall asleep or if we cover its eyes, it will think it's dark and uh, slowly fall asleep as well. But um, it just responds to, um, to touch, it responds to its voice, apparently. Um, the manufacturers say it responds to its name and it will turn if we talk about Paro, but uh, I, don't, I haven't played for long enough with it um, to, to notice that one. So Paro, um, last I saw, um, these being marketed at, and that was quite a while back. They're about, I think, about nine thousand pounds, which is quite an expensive um, device. They're not uh, readily, certainly when I was last looking, um, they're not readily uh, commercially available. They are for research. They are for uh, medical um, type situations as well, or rather available through like those sorts of channels. But um, the variants of these, like follow-on robots that have the same sort of idea, same sort of principle, they should. I imagine be coming down in price. This should be more readily available, but as sophisticated as Paro is, there are plenty of other um, robotic devices like this, like we think about Furbies, Hatcher Moles, and so on, but they do kind of similar events. They're not quite um, as, as engineered as the Paro, but um, there should be um, other robots available in, in a similar sort of... Um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the, the seal. It's so lovely. Um, yeah, there, there, are, there should be some similar sort of um, robots coming out at some point um, for the uh, for the animal assisted type therapy uh, therapy work. Some of the research that we've done at Sheffield has looked at its value, um, so these are specifically built with that in mind. Um, but that's not always tested in a sort of strict research setting. So some of the um, PhD students and staff that we've had at Sheffield Robotics have looked at um, the value of Paro, how it helps with. Um, people's own emotional experiences, um, how people connect to the seal, so people's um, emotional connections with other people, does that impact how they have emotional connections with the seal and whether they benefit from this. We've also seen Paro in use for um, helping people connect with each other, so giving it, um, using Paro as a topic of conversation between people. Um, we find that Paro perhaps is more of an interesting topic piece to talk about than other um, robots or other um, like activities, which is quite fun.